we'll go ahead and call the uh, this regular meeting of the Jackson County Board of Education to order. And uh, we just finished up our work session. And as you know, it was a blended session. We had Dr. Guess who joined us uh, via Google uh, Meet. I think that's right, there at Google Meet. And uh, Mr. Matthews uh, is also joined us at Google Meet. He is. You don't see his his picture. He's got a he's got a circle with an M inside it, I think. And uh, but he's joined us. Dr. Guess has joined us. And since March, uh, when when the pandemic really set in on on this part of the country, uh, a lot of boards and, and committee work has been uh, accomplished through meetings virtually. Um, I, this is I, I've. In my work at the college, everything we're doing basically is virtual. So this is my first blended meeting with the Board of Education. But, but Mr. Porter, this is a legitimate meeting having having these two in, and, and we are represented uh, fully on the board through this meeting. Correct? Uh, yes, sir. Under the uh, Governor's Proclamation of March 19th, mm -hmm. uh, where she declared and put into mm -hmm. effect the exception to open meetings act which allows board members of uh, any government body to participate virtually so long as everybody can hear each other uh, mm -hmm. and participate and i understand dr guest and mr matthews can hear everything that's going on there mics are just muted so we're not hearing them at the moment okay but, but that, that meets the requirements so. all right yeah. Okay, thanks, sir. So as we get into our our uh, our meeting and, and we call for votes, we will um, Dr. Guess and Mr. Matthews will unmute their mics so that they can vote, and, and it will be recorded as a full board vote, Jenna. So once we do that, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and, and kick this off, and we will we'll we'll test that. So and we're going to test it with the uh, with. Uh, with the agenda approving the agenda so the first thing on our um, the first thing we do every meeting is we take a moment of silence to uh, pray about things that are going on in, in our country and in our in our nation uh, lots of needs and uh, lots of needs in this in this district so if you'll bow with me now for uh, prayer and silent reflection please Thank you. Now, the first official item on our uh, on the meeting agenda is to consider a motion to approve this agenda as it is presented. Do we have a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion. Uh, Mr. Knight is going to make that motion to approve the agenda. Is there a second? I'll second that. All right. Mr. Matthews might work, so Mr. Matthews seconds that. We're glad to hear it. Uh, all in favor of approving this agenda, say aye. 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 Uh, perfect then this agenda is approved so uh, we have scheduled this evening our second budget hearing um, this being the 14th I think that budget is due to be sent off tomorrow right Jeff okay so we are right on time so Jeff if you will come forward and, and do your second presentation please okay. uh this uh, slide uh, shows basically what we've done uh, since Kevin is, came into office. Was it January 2016? 17. 17, okay. So the, uh, so at the very beginning of 2017, we started reversing course is and Jackson County is a place where you, what you would have to, as far as I like a sports analogy we play small ball you know we have to get singles to be able to score runs and little things like our child nutrition program being profitable as it can be uh, with uh, uh, our special ed, Chris uh, Davis doing uh, 
special grants on high cost uh, special ed students so it doesn't become a burden to the general fund. Uh, when uh, Mark Guffey finds federal units to plug in in key situations where there's been uh, where there's a need and we don't have to do the general fund. So uh, AJ finding some retired teacher to fill in a little piece of a unit that needs to be put in. And, and you know, and then Kevin overseeing all this and struggling with the directors as our population keeps coming down in students to be able to agonize over cutting units, which we have to do every year, and I'll get into that later. But because we're doing all those things, we're able to scratch out a little additional fund balance every year since Kevin's been here. And uh, the uh, and even th this crazy year that we've had, uh, that's what we're projecting the uh, the ending fund balance to still go up, not make go up as fast as it has gone up, but still to uh, be positive. So we've had good results in following uh, or, or working with the <coughs> budget and, uh, and building a fund balance. Now, you know, we've done this by not just doing the uh, bare minimum. We've done this at the same time adding 12 preschool classes. And we're also uh, doing the 21st century program, which we have to fund locally to some extent, but uh, that we're adding the after school labs and tutoring to, to increase that. We've done one-to-one -one notebook computers for all of our students system-wide. Uh, we've maintained <coughs> our small community schools, which is a financial challenge to be able to do, but we've been able to do it. Uh, we're, uh, so that's one the extra mile, where we're not just doing, where we're, where we're not, like, sending all the kids to a simple high school and just take it, you know, take it, that's all you can get, you know, that's all we can provide, which a lot of counties are doing. So we're trying to work within the way this county operates and give citizens what they want. Uh, now, we're going to, and I call that the extra mile, some of the things we're doing, but now we're going to and we built this fund balance, but now it's time to do the extra, the real big extra mile, or the extra five mile, or whatever you want to call it, is vocational center. And it's going to take every bit of financial effort we can come up with to pull this off. This additional amount that we're putting, that we, you know, it's very possible that we won't be doing this in the coming years. We're not going to be putting million dollars away in the bank every year like we may do. We're going to have to. It's going to. It's it, it's quite a uh, a lot of uh, operational expenses are going to be related to this that we uh, are going to have to, uh, that's going to uh, slow down this putting away money. On the capital side, we've also done the, basically the same thing, where we put in a million away every year. And 
built it up to about the same level as the uh, general fund. We would have built it up to that same level, but we've already spent uh, 850000 to pay cash for the new building and 30 plus acres of land. <coughs> and also to pay the architects to get this thing rolling so that they actually, we have something to look at as far as the plans. So we, we've spent some already in uh, our capital money, so we won't, we'll be going in with somewhere around six million uh, at the end of the year, what we're projecting. So that's just, uh, you know, so I would love to continue to do that, but that's not what our leadership has decided, that they want to go the extra mile. They want to uh, do the best we can for, for the kids and really move this county forward in a huge way. So, uh, I'm, uh, so it's going to be exciting times, but it's not always fun for our county. Uh, okay. Let's look at uh, the actual budget for a minute. We, we had some questions about the budget. Uh, Mr. West, you said you had some questions about page 92. Page 92. That's us. Now, anyone that has a copy of the budget uh, or doesn't have a copy of the budget, we've got several copies here. Uh, Years, yeah. a couple years old. Yeah. <coughs> well, we were four years old. That's not very big for people. Hopefully you, you have a copy, but that's page 92. Okay, so specifically, uh, yeah, this is basically how we're funding this new uh, facility. Well, we're going to start out with the six million that's on hand, and that's available immediately. 6.48 million is a state bond issue. I talked to the state architect today and he said that that would be available for spending around mid-November. But we shouldn't really need it. We really, they're gonna be concentrating on dirt work. And so we basically have the dirt work and architect these which would be covered by the six million that we have on hand. So we're really not gonna to have to get into borrowed money for a little while, but the money would be available if somehow we did need it in mid-November as far as the state bond issue. The, uh, the state leverage money uh, is where we're taking the capital funds that they send us every year 
and we're saying, just keep it. Don't send it to us. And reduce it by a million dollars a year. And that's basically how we're our mortgage payment. And we're saying, don't send that million dollars to us. Keep it. But give us $15 million up front. And they'll do it. And, it, and then for 20 years, they would hold a million dollars from us. So my experience has been that they slightly increase the uh, amount that they send for uh, capital money every year. So after so many years, we'll start recouping and having enough in the capital funds that they send us to do a little something with, but we will be reduced down to where they're only going to send us about 400000 a year, three to 400000 a year in capital money. <coughs> so the only capital money we'll have at that point to work with is our sales tax, capital sales tax. So all of our roofing and, and all those projects I have to be done by the capital, uh, by the food sales tax. So instead of increasing cash in the bank a million a year, we're not really going to have a whole lot of increases <coughs> until sales tax starts growing. And what we're what the hope is is down the road things really will take off and that uh, that our system will really start gaining back students instead of losing students every year and it will uh, start uh, having more foundation units and uh, and also uh, attract new industry into this area, which will be more restaurants, there will be more retail activity, and it just feeds upon itself or snowballs in the right direction instead of the wrong direction. So specifically, what was your question? All right, my question is, you said we're going to get 1.3 million, eight. 1.382 million this this year, okay? Wait, 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 wait. We're uh, uh, where it says state uh, public school fund allocated for physical year 2021. Right. That's, that's right. 1.3 million. That percent allowed for leverage, 80 percent. Right. That's 80 percent of that that number. Give you 1.1 <coughs> million. Mm -hmm. Is that 80 percent going to be? If it increases every year, is it going to still be 80 percent, or is it only going you only going to pay back 1.1 million each year? 1.1 million each year. That's in set and stuff. That's set in stone. Set and stuff. Okay. Another question I got now: You're getting 15 million dollars of your own money. That that's what the state architect estimates. Yeah. At 1.1 million, that means you're going to be paying back in 20 years. You're going to be paying back $21 million. That's right. So you're paying back $6 million to use your own money. That's exactly right. And that's going to be a savings of approximately a half. It would be double that much interest. If you went out into a bond market and just did a bond issue, Yeah. that's half price. You know, it might not be that much, but it's close to half price. You're actually going to uh, come out of debt at the, about the same time we're coming out, we'll be coming out of debt with the Snyder deal that was done back in 2014. Okay. Another question I had about that. If the allocation goes down, say it goes down under a million, you still got to pay $1.1 million every year back. Well, I'm, I've been doing it for twelve years. I, you know, I've been involved thirty years. I've never seen it go down. Well, I've been seventy-five years old. This is the first time I ever seen COVID nineteen too. Right. But it's going to go down this year because of COVID nineteen. 
Actually, I was seeing some very good reports that yep. were put out uh, about sales tax collection, you know, in the, uh, and they're actually, you know, they're talking about coming out with infrastructure uh, deals in Congress, no matter who wins. And, you know, I'm just not that pessimistic. All right. All that. right. But, now. but that's true. It's absolutely true that there is always going to be some risk when you jump into a big project. And to go along with this, we've got nearly a million dollars for the next 20 years that we owe Snyder Electric. That's right. So we're going to have to pay them a million dollars. Well, actually, it's not, it's not a million. It, it, 800 know, and something thousand right. dollars a year we pay them. Right. That's right. 870-something, I think. It That's is. right. And we got to pay that for the next 20 years. That's right. As a CSFO, do you feel comfortable putting the people in Jackson County in that kind of situation? Well, the thing is, what I'm saying is, we put in the bank about a million dollars in capital funds every year since he's been in office. I understand that. Okay. All we're doing is basically using that. That's all we're, that's all we're asking for to do this project is about a million dollars, a little bit more, but not much more. And then it's, uh, you know, uh, so yes, we are going to now take our growth that we've been getting and we're going to put it to use. And we're, uh, you know, we're swinging for the fences on this. <coughs> and this is a big deal. It is a big deal. But if you don't go for it, you know, if you really don't, you know, you can always sit back and be safe. You know, it, you know, a lot of people are, and a lot of people don't get anything done. And y'all's leadership decided to go forward and get something done for the kids. I, I salute you, and I'm gonna, as uncomfortable it, as it makes me to take on all these kind of debt and not pile up cash, I'm more of a cash guy, I like cash. But sometimes you just don't have the, uh, you're going to do something, you got to do it. And what department do you think uh, it will hurt the most? Then what What department? What well, department? All, all we're doing, I mean, we're hurting First Southern Federal, uh, First Southern Bank. Oh, I'm talking about. That's who we're hurting because we're not piling up money in their bank every year. That's what we're hurting. We're not going to be taken away from anything. We're basically going to be operating. Was our maintenance program going to have? Yes, Jim. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Proof can get you after this, this is over. Carry on, please. But, you know, I, I really don't anticipate all we're doing well, I appreciate that. is that we're, we're wanting to, we think because of the stability, and that's the reason I showed y'all that chart. The stability has been created through the efforts of Kevin and his team, and, and especially the board, in doing all these, uh, being conservative. The stability where we can, uh, where we know basically what the extra amount is that we've been generating, and we're going to take that extra amount that we've been generating and put it all toward this project and should not be having to redo anything within our operation uh, as far as having to cut programs, etc. Okay, uh, so the uh, uh, whoops, I got to get this thing yeah, that was the one. That was the one slide that was upside down. It makes the whole thing where I have to redo the whole thing to get back. Uh, this thing can be viewed properly. Okay. I thought this was a public hearing. Okay. Not have participation in this budget here. Huh? This is the. Uh, now. 
the big challenge from a funding standpoint is the uh, million two that's being cut from the state foundation program. What we've had to do is we've had to bring down our workforce by 2% to accommodate that. That's, that reduction in federal funding is just more of a, uh, we've got to, we don't have to carry over involved in that and we'll have carry over involved. Our federal funding should not be that much lower. It should be kind of a break even after it's all said and done, but initially the federal funding shows uh, a reduction. But the state funding is reduced. And that's why it's been so important for Kevin to look strongly every May and make sure that we are having just our foundation units at each school. So there's non-renewals that occur, or either a lot of times we're able to do it through attrition, but we've been able to reduce our workforces so that we can cover this uh, reduction. You see here in our uh, instructional services, we are reducing it by 1.1 million in our instructional services. So we've had to come down that much with our, and also every aspect of classroom support is reduced. But as long as you're reducing those teachers in response to it, you're okay. But you got to, you can't, once they cut you in years, you've got to cut down just, you know, to what they give you. And also we've been able to use the retired teachers and, uh, and, that, and that's very, very economical. You know, when you want little pieces of units plugged in because you don't have to pay the retirement benefits. So they basically cost half the you have to pay uh, health insurance or retirement. So the benefits are very inexpensive. So that's a very uh, creative thing that we well, do. There's a downside to that, aren't there? And what now? There's a downside. You just can retire people. Yeah, you can't. Influence. You can overdo that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You can overdo it. We haven't hired anybody. Our workforce is getting old. That's so true. That paper I sent away. That's true. And, you know, and it's not something we can just totally lean on forever. But it's, it's definitely, especially, you know, if we can go into this and, and let them be fully utilized and help maybe teach those young teachers that are coming in, show them things. And, uh, but that's been a, uh, something we've, we've had to resort to, especially when it's hard to, to find teachers to, uh, in particular areas. Uh, Ultimately, you know, this is the, the main budget. And like I said last time, this is where we kind of have a worst case scenario of uh, where we're not having any increase in uh, revenues and that we're fully passing on child nutrition uh, benefits that, that we obtain in the uh, foundation that we have to pass on to child nutrition if they don't make a profit, but because they've been making a profit, <coughs> we don't have to transfer that money over. So we save that two or three hundred thousand just on that. And then we usually get some increase. So we always end up flipping that to where if we, you know whatever our negative is, we at least come out that much positive. So uh, so we're anticipating this next year, you know, very positive year, and uh, we'll uh, not have these negatives, but we have to put it in here initially. So do we have any questions or thoughts about the, yes, Lou? Uh, you mentioned that you're going to have to 
I mean, Coach, I'll follow Bill Rogers. I was wanting him to get finished so that then we could take questions at the end. No, why didn't you cut them off? Are we good? You got another question? Thank you, Mr. Middleton. Thank you. I'll talk to you after it's over. I'll be here. I'll wait. All right. Okay. We'll move on. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all's Thanks, attention. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Uh, All right. I'd, I'd like to make a comment about this. Okay. I worked at Tech School 32 years. It was really booming in the 90s and 2000s. There, was a, there are a lot of students over there. There's always 500 something. Had good programs, good instructors, good leadership. But the last few years it's been going backwards. Rather than building this new building, we need to work on the leadership and get students back over there before the money's spent for the building. I mean, you're, we we're kind of saying build a football field. We have an outstanding leader there now. Do what? We have an outstanding leader there now in control. Well, when we get the enrollment up there, I can see where you could fill this building. But well, how many new programs are you going to add with this new building? Two? Spend $30 million to add two, two programs? That's all you got in the plans is two programs, two new programs. I thought it may just be one new program in it, culinary arts. How many are there in there, Mr. Davidson? New program. I wouldn't. I, hey, Mr. Davidson, I want to answer him. I want to answer him. If he's going to question leadership, I want to answer him. I'm telling you, we got to get the enrollment up at the tech school before you build a football field. We ain't building a football field. Well, you build a field and they'll come. You can't build a building and hope they come. You got to have the people before you build a building. I know it's been approved, but the budget hasn't been approved yet. I can't see how in the world we can have all Republicans behind this podium up here and they won't put the people in Jackson County in debt for the next 20 years. And we're not going to be here that 20 years. Okay, moving on. Under general business A, we have to consider a motion to approve the budget for the 2021 uh, fiscal year. We have a motion to approve that budget. I make the motion. Mr. Matthews makes the motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? Then we'll move to a vote. We'll move, make this a roll call vote. So we'll start Mr. West. No. Mr. West votes no. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Mr. Matthews is a yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Mr. Knight is a yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Dr. Guess is a yes. And I'm a yes, so that budget has been approved. Under B, consider a motion for any corrections, additions, or relations to the August 27, 2020 board meeting and work session minutes. How much motion? All right, Mr. Knight makes a motion to approve those. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Matthews going to second that. Any discussion on those uh, minutes? Then we will roll call vote these minutes as well. Uh, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. West is a yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Uh, Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes, and those minutes have been approved. Uh, C, consider a motion to approve the financial statements and the list of reconciled bank accounts for July 2020. Those are attached. The total payroll expenditures, $3,756,676.45. And the total non-payroll expenditures, $1,079,138.08. I make the motion. Okay. We have a motion, Mr. Knight. No, second. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? We'll make a move to vote, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Uh, Mr. Knight. Yes. Dr. Yes. Yes. Myself is a yes. Motion carries. D. Consider a motion to approve the financial statements in the list of reconciled bank accounts for August 2020. Total payroll expenditures: three million seven hundred seventy-three thousand dollars six hundred fifty. Three million seven hundred seventy-three thousand six hundred fifty-five dollars and forty cents total non-payroll expenditures: one million three hundred ninety-six thousand three hundred seventy-three dollars and eighteen cents. 
I'll make the motion. I have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? We'll move to vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Uh, Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes. Motion carries. Uh, e, consider a motion to approve the 2021 through 2025 capital plan that was presented at our last meeting. I'll make a motion. All right, we have a motion. We have a second. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? We'll move to vote on this capital plan. Mr. West? No. Mr. West votes no. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. I will consider a motion to approve the 2021 salary schedules. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll move to vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. West is a yes. Uh, Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. And myself is it? yes. Motion carries. G, consider a motion to approve the LEA consolidated plan. Um, I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Second. Okay, we have a second. I think Mr. Knight got him on that one. Any discussion? Move to vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is a yes. Motion carries. I H, consider a motion to approve the contract between Jack Penny Board of Education and Blackboard for notification services for three years in the amount of $17,523.08. I'll make a motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? Any number move to vote? Mr. West? Yes. Uh, Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. So the yes motion carries. Um, I is consider a motion to approve the class size reduction units for the 2021 school year. And you can see we have those eight. And you see how they're broken down. Do we have a motion to approve those class size reduction units? I'll make a motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? Move to vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Uh, Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes. That's a motion carries. Under personnel, we have uh, leaves. A, consider a motion to approve family medical leave for Beth Haynes, teacher at Epcot from August the 14th through September the 25th. I like motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? We'll move to vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. And that's relative. I'll just abstain on that one, Jenna. So, motion carries. B, consider a motion to approve the family medical leave for Jacqueline Harris, countywide school bus driver, from August the 11th through November the 10th. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion. Okay, we have a motion. Mr. Knight? Mr. Uh, Mr. Matthew, you second that motion? Uh, I made the motion, but I'll second it. All right, he's going to second that. Mr. Knight made the motion. Mr. Matthews second it. Any discussion? Move to vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes. Motion carries. C, consider a motion to approve the family medical leave for Melissa Morgan, countywide school bus driver from August the 3rd through October the 30th. I'll make the motion. I'll make the motion. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second. Mr. Knight's going to second that one. Any discussion? We vote Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes. Motion carries. Under transfers, we have to consider a motion to transfer of Amy Harden from a 50% special education teacher at Woodville High School to 50% special education teacher at Woodville. 50% countywide special ed teacher assisting remote students effective September the 15th. Says this is a countywide position for one year only. I make the motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Do we have any discussion? Move vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. 
Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Okay. Dr. Guess? Yes. Dr. Guess is yes. Myself is yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> Under B, consider a motion to transfer Elizabeth Webb from a pre-K auxiliary aid at Stevens Elementary School to a countywide instructional aid effective September the 15th. I make the motion. We have a motion. We have a second. I'll say. We have a second. We have any discussion? We'll move vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Uh, Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is a yes. Motion carries. Under employments, A, consider a motion to employ uh, Bailey Lakin as an elementary teacher at Section High School, effective October the 5th. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a second. Is there any discussion? we we'll move to vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is a yes. Motion carries. B, consider a motion to employ Jordan McCarver. As a 33% physical ed teacher, 67% instructional aid at Skyline, effective September the 15th. I'll make a motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? We vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Uh, Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is a yes. Motion carries. Seek consider motion to employ Caitlin Eichert as a countywide speech language therapist, effective October the 1st, 2020. This is a one-year position. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. All right, we have a second. Any discussion? Move to vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Dr. Uh, Dr. Wright. Dr. Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Dr. Guess. yes. Dr. Myself is yes. Motion carries. They consider a motion to employ Angela Williams as a 75 elementary, 75 percent elementary teacher at Hollywood School, effective September 15th. I'll make the motion. I'll make the motion. All right. I have a motion. Mr. Matthews, you second that motion. Mr. Knight got you. Uh, yes. Matthews seconds that motion. Any discussion? Move to vote, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Uh, Mr. Knight. Yes. Dr. Yes. Yes. Myself is a yes. Motion carries. A consider motion to employ Alexandria Summers as a countywide special services aide, nurse, effective September the 15th, 2020. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Knight seconds that. Any discussion? We'll move to vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes, that motion carries. F, consider a motion to employ Stanley Webb as a countywide school bus driver, effective September the 22nd, 2020. I'll make the motion. We have a motion. We have a second. I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? No discussion. We'll vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Yes? Yes. Myself is a yes. Motion carries. Uh, under contracts, consider a motion to approve the probationary contract of Cody Brown, principal at Stevens Elementary School, to include his higher degree. I think he got it done. All right, Mr. Knight makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. I, I'm sorry, Mike. Mike you, you, you got yeah. the motion. I, 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 I want to beat me again. <laughs> uh, we're going to give it to Mike. Made the motion. I'll Chris say. seconds that. Any discussion? No discussion. And we'll vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. And myself is a yes. That motion carries. B, consider a motion to break the contract between the Jackson County Board of Education and Skyline High School for transportation assistance for the 2021 20, school year. I'll make a motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second, second. that. Yep. Mike's got it. Any discussion? We vote, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. And myself is yes. Motion carries. Uh, say consider a motion to approve the contract between the Jackson County Board of Education and Woodville High School for transportation assistance for the 2021 school year. I'll make a motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? We vote Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. 
Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself is yes, motion carries. Under coaching assignments, we uh, we discussed earlier in the work session that we may be able to take A through L as one motion. Uh, Dr. Guess and Mike, are y'all both in agreement with that? Uh, sounds good. Okay. Yes. Board, uh, Mr. West and yes. Yes, y'all still good with it? Yeah. Okay. So we have a consider a motion to approve the uh, coaching assignments A through L. I'll make a motion. We have a motion by Mr. Knight. Is there a second? I'll second. We have any discussion? Move to vote, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Knight? Yes. Dr. Yes? Yes. And myself is yes. And so we have now approved coaching assignments A through L. Uh, Mr. Dukes, you got anything for announcements? I, speaking of the budget meeting tonight, I'm just appreciative of y'all um, investing in Jackson County's future. Yes, as Mr. Middleton said, you know, it's when you go out on a limb like this, it's never easy. But Jackson County is going to be better because of it. And I want to thank you all for your confidence and and making it happen, making it a reality. And I'm just anxious to see if see it gets rolling. And I do appreciate y'all's work and I do appreciate Dr. Guess and Mr. Matthews for making this meeting when, when they're in other places and, and I appreciate y'all making an effort to make that happen. Okay. So we will set a, a board meeting uh, date for October. Um, I'm out of town on the 15th and the 22nd. What about the 29th? Yeah. Do with the 29th? Yeah. I'm you do the 29th. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Matthews and Dr. Yes, the 29th, is that okay with you? Yes, the 29th will work fine with me. 29th, 6 o'clock. So we won't do a work session that, that month. We'll just do a board meeting. That's okay. Okay. So we will set that board meeting uh, October the 29th, 6 o'clock. Any other announcements? All right, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. We have a motion, is there a second? I'll second. We have a second, any discussion? And all in favor of adjourning say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. All right, so we are adjourned, thank you.